This tutorial will explain how to work with materials in Woodward for Inventor version 9. We will start from a material assignment to set the generalized material, set the main material, set the covers, the grain direction and other sizes. In Woodward for Inventor, 3D model is a single source of data for entire working process. It generates the data for BOM, drawings and CNC. On the design stage, for us it's important to define the shape of your parts, define the size, add the volume, and set the type of the material that we are using. In the main material types, we are operating with the profiles, solid wood parts, and various boards. As you can see, different types of the materials are measured using different measurement units. The same materials by the type can be assigned to different groups. For instance, this laminated board can belong to the facade. As you can see, on the design stage, it's not very important what is the color of the material, but we want to know the physical role of this part in the model. It can be body panels, internal panels, facades, etc. Besides the main materials, we have a lot of covers, which includes the edge banding, paints, and veneers. So let's speak about edge banding. As you can see, there is the size of your CAD model, and we can apply different edge banding positions. We have sunk edge banding, it is reducing the size of the workpiece. And vice versa, if we have edge banding on the top, then the final size of your part is bigger than the CAD model. The next important step is the grain direction adjustments, because it affects the size of the workpiece. As you can see, by default, the grain direction goes along the longest edge of your model. As you can see, there is the size of the part and the workpiece. But if you change the grain rotation, rotation by 45 degrees angle, as you can see, the workpiece becomes way bigger. If you rotate it even more by 90 degrees angle, then as you can see, the part size and the workpiece size swap the places. It happens because we need to place the workpiece on a bigger nesting worksheet. Once we define the grain direction, it's time to set an oversize. The oversize shows you how big the workpiece would be. As you can see in all those steps, appearance does not matter, because different appearances does not change the geometry. At this step, we finished our theoretical part and let's see how it happens in woodwork. So first we need to go uh, for assignment. We need to open material assignment dialog box. As you can see, there is different kind of materials. There is fill materials and the covers. Let's choose a multi-layer board first. It's important to notice that multi-layer board is defined in advance. You don't need to define each layer separately. You can just say, okay, have a multi-layer board, which contains four layers, two veneers and two MDFs in between. And then you can define your model shape in a final state. Just one single thick board. Now we need to assign some laminated boards. Laminated boards have different core material and a cover, so we can use a filter to find the right one for us. In this case, we will look for a material uh, of facade type. Let's pick it and select the panels that need to be made from this material. As you can see, our facade is hidden be behind the box body, so we need to wait a little bit for selection window to appear. And now we can set this material to the panel. Now let's erase this material from the filter field and enter another one, which can be a body kind of panels. So let's pick the panels which would be made from by the type of materials and say apply. As you can see, the green direction goes along the longest edge of each individual part. So now let's go for the covers. In this case, we will assign edge bendings. The bendings are grouped in a similar manner. So let's pick the right for our purposes, which would be a facade kind of edge bending. Choose the thickness and set the position of the edge bending, which in this case will be synced. We can say that we want to collect tangentially connected surfaces automatically. As you can see, when you pick one of the faces, it collects all tangentially connected surfaces. Now we can apply this edge banding on top of this edge. Apply the same say type of edge banding on the front of your cabinet. Now let's choose another kind of edge banding for the body panels, which would be body 01. Now choose the edges. On those edges, edge banding will be sunk. 
OK. And now change the position, but keep the same image banning to collect the remaining faces. On this side panel, all edge bannings will be on the top. Now we can use a highlight tool to, to see what is the position and thickness of the edge banning. Red color means that there is thick 2 mils edge banning all around, and the indicator shows in what direction it goes. If you want to change the direction, it's just enough to click on this cone arrow. OK, we can close this window now. And it's time to set grain direction. In our case, we don't apply any colors like uh, veneers, etc. So we will stay with the fill grain. Pick the reference edge and apply the changes. Let's make the grain direction vertical on both side panels. OK, once it's done, we can set a workpiece oversize. In this case, we can pick the edge and set the oversize along this direction. Let it be 5 mm. OK. As you can see, each edge can be adjusted independently. If you want, you can apply an oversize for all along the perimeter and all the sides. Now let's pick another part and set the oversize along this direction. OK, so we finish up the material assignment, the green direction and oversize setup, and we are ready for the next steps. Good luck!